The Tejas single seat, single engine, lightweight, high agility supersonic fighter aircraft has entered into service with the Indian Air Force IAF in July. Tejas had flown more than 3,000 test flights up to speeds of Mach 1.4 LCA. Tejas indigenous development program has been marred by delays. The most advanced among the variants, the MK2 also MK II version, will take years before it can be seen taking off the Hell Airport for testing. The LCA Tejas MK2 will be available for testing by 2017 and will not be ready before 2024, been reported, citing TRVO Chief Drive S. Chris Dapper statements to Vague Aerospace and Defense Review. The TRVO Chief However, confirmed that the proposed LCA Tejas MK2 will be using the powerful General Electric F414 GE and six engines and will feature a lengthier fuselage. But there was no clarification by him if this he was talking about the Air Force or the Navy variant of the MK2 aircraft. IHF James 360 had earlier reported, citing official sources, that the Hell had proposed the Indian Air Force IAF of acquiring LCA Tejas MK-1A variant instead of waiting for LCA Tejas MK-2 aircraft, as a stop-gap arrangement. Currently, the IAF is on board to acquire LCA Tejas MK-1A. The report noted the lack of clarity on the IAF's participation with LCA Tejas MK-2, given the recent statement by Air Chief Marshal Arupraha to the media. As of now we are not interested in MK-2. The Indian Navy has expressed its requirement for a naval variant of LCA Tejas MK-2. The LCA Tejas MK-2 version will also be featuring active electronically scanned ra AESA radar from Israeli firm VLTA Systems. Naval version of India's light combat aircraft. The offer was conveyed to senior private sector executives during several meetings with MOD officials in the last month, the source said. Private defense majors, Tata Group, Mahindra and Mahindra and Larson and Chupro, are the most capable of setting up an additional military aircraft plant, either independently or in partnership with overseas firms. Madhukar Finiak Kotwal, President Heavy engineering of Larson and Chupro, said, by Eros since this building of an additional facility is a matter currently under discussion at various levels in the government as well as in industry associations, we would like to refrain from giving any comments at this stage. The Air Force has a requirement for 250 LCA Mark IIs, which the government estimates would be covered by the $12 billion advance order. The IAF has decided to order 100 modified Tejas aircraft apart from 20 planes, which had been ordered previously. The Air Force has requested Hell to add newer capabilities in the Tejas, with IAF likely to decommission 50 former 21S and the 27S in the next six months. The strength will be brought down from 35 to 30 to squadrons. During the recent November 27 governing body meeting of the Defense Research Development Organization DRDOS Aeronautical Development Agency ADA attended by LCA Tejas Manufacturer Health, the IAF brought down the maintenance issues from 57 to 43, all of which can be executed by ADA and HELP without changing the aircraft design. India's Mail Today newspaper reported today. We are now hopeful of an order for 100 Mark 1 as before the end of the current financial year. Dr. Leo Chief Drive S. Christopher was quoted as saying by mail today. The aircraft will be equipped with your new features including active electronically scanned ra AESA radar, a long-range beyond visual range missile, air-to-air -air refueling and electronic warfare capability which will enhance survivability of the aircraft. Repositioning of major aircraft aggregates for the ease of maintenance has nullified the requirement to stretch the fuselage that would have increased aerodynamic drag to such levels as to require the more powerful F-414 engine.
This negates the requirement to have LCAMK2 for the IAF, their Vice Marshal Man Mahandal Hogder. Two naval prototypes of the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Hell Light Combat Aircraft Tejas successfully conducted 33 test flights from a so called short based test facility, a full scale model of an aircraft carrier deck in Goa last month. Next to practicing regular takeoff and landing as well as jettison fuel in the event of an in flight emergency. The aircraft and pilots have also repeatedly practiced hot refueling refueling the fighter jet with the engines running and the pilot in the cockpit. In addition, Ada and Hell have also been vigorously testing onboard computer programs used for landing the aircraft on the carrier. The naval Tejas had taken off from the SBDF ski jump after rolling 300 meters. Now, the fighter has proven it can't take off from just 200 meters, even carrying two R-73 close combat missiles. Was this campaign, ski jump launches are no longer a challenge? We will now explore the limits the fighter can be taken to. We will further fine-tune the control law software to take off with higher pay loads, said Balaji. In aircraft carrier combat operations at sea, the naval Tejas must take off with up to 3.5 tons of payload, more fuel for longer range, and more weapons for a lethal punch. For this, the aircraft carrier would steam into the wind, ensuring a wind-over deck speed of up to 20 knots. That would provide added lift to the aircraft, allowing higher pay loads. In the current campaign, the Tejas did over 60 approaches without actually touching down to gather data for fine-tuning the control law software. In the next campaign this month, we will do touch-and-go approaches to validate the software and then graduate to full landings, testing aboard the INS. The show will likely begin next year. By mid-2017, we will have established on the SVTF that the naval Tejas can be flown off an actual carrier, and we will then graduate to ship-based testing. We